Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery here. We get together with our distribution partners most weekday mornings at this time, 8 o'clock Central. We talk about strategies, success stories, techniques, and, and mainly we're here to support each of you. So today we're going to talk about some different lead sources. I think many of you have really latched on to the concept of going out to the marketplace with a freemium approach, which means it allows us to enroll the clients with no cost to the clients, really almost no commitment, but no cost to the client by using the free four-week funding program. And we've covered this in past trainings. Fourweekfunding.org describes the problem, the solution, the little video, bulleted description, there's a flyer here, and then leads can be submitted here. Or if you want a personalized version of this, just get with Scott Stroud, our chief marketing officer, and he can develop a whole campaign around you individually. You might say, well, wait a second, wait a second. If, if we're going to go to the market with a free offering where they don't pay anything, how are we going to monetize that? And, and as we've talked about on recent trainings, well, the same way that DocuSign does it or Adobe does it or Fortnite with Epic Games, a freemium approach is where clients can come in and get a certain level of services for free, but then they may in fact want to do more and get more and pay more. So after the clients have gone through the four-week funding program, many of them will want to move into the actual cash funding. And with the cash funding, you're paid five points, 5% 5 of the capital raise. So for every $100,000 capital raise, you're making five grand. If they decide to go into the funding protocol, then they're guaranteed 100,000. So you, you can expect $5,000 per client. So it, it's a bit of a different approach than some of you are used to. So the, the concept with the fourweekfunding.org is cast a very wide net, no bait and switch. Everyone gets exactly what they're promised, but many of those will progress, do more, and which will generate the back end income for you. Well, that's not our topic today. Our topic today is, well, where could the leads come from? And, and there's a variety of different uh, ways. Uh, John's on here this morning, and John creates a lot of leads by posting on Craigslist. That's fine. Joseph's on this morning. He's a licensed realtor. He is, a, I think he's on a billboard in, in Northwest Arkansas. He's got a big sphere of influence, and so people just refer to him. So some of you already have methods in place that are generating material volume, but what we know is that the money equation, if we want to make money, we need conversions, and if we want conversions, we have to have leads. So what we're going to talk about today may not apply to all of you. Again, John, he's got it figured out. Joseph's got it figured out. But for any of you that are not generating the type of volume of leads, let's look at this resource. So I'm on leadtycoons.com. We have no financial affiliation with them. If you buy any leads from them, we don't get any kickback, so there, there's no conflict of interest. But uh, this is a, a resource actually that Joseph did turn me on to because it has a number of different resources. I want to briefly go through each. Again, I'm not a paid spokesperson for them. You may find other sources of leads. You may not need any more leads, but I'd like to just walk you through how Lead Tycoons works to maybe uh, open up your perspective a bit. So one option they have are live call transfers. I'm going to click on this and I'll bring it up. This is going to be the most expensive and, and the most demanding on your part, because if you were to subscribe to their program of live call transfers, you need to be ready for that phone call to come to you during whatever set times that you make yourself available. So it, number one, requires you to talk to the client. Number two, requires you to be available on demand for a live call transfer. For some of you, this is great. For some of you, I think it's a terrible decision, but it is one option. So what Lead Tycoons is doing is they're out marketing to small businesses that want funding. They've got the lead and now they're ready to have that lead talk to you. And they have certain uh, prerequisites you can see here. 
So that's one option. It's the most expensive, but you'll have the highest close rate and the shortest time to close. So let's talk about implementation. So let's say that you decided to accept some live call transfers. So what would you do? Well, the phone call would come in and the goal would be to get them submitted on this form. So then we can send them the Adobe for the grant application package. And so you would have a brief conversation with them, just really highlight just the, the basics. But ultimately what you'd want to do is let them know that they're going to get a grant application package whereby they can participate at no cost and get their name, email, and phone number. So that's one option, probably the most demanding both in, in price, but also in, in time sensitivity. Okay, let's go back. I don't know how many of you are familiar with MCAs. MCAs are merchant cash advances. It's, it's not what we do. Some people have a very negative connotation of those because they tend to have a very high cost of capital. We're not here to debate the merits or the benefits of MCAs. It is important, though, to understand that the merchant cash advance business or the industry, I should say, is very large and very vibrant. And so you could certainly get referrals from merchant cash advance reps or companies that aren't able to fund clients, or also you could tap into merchant cash advance leads and bring them into what you and I offer. So let's go ahead and flip over here again. Anytime you see the terms real time, you're gonna have the most expensive cost because these are hot leads right now and they can even schedule appointment calls for you. But again, you're looking around $30. So if you make $5,000 for a client, you spend 30, is that a good deal? I would argue so. Will you close 100% of them? No, we're only closing about 70% of the clients coming through the free four week funding. So let's just say it was a 50% to do, make the math simple. Your, your cost per new client then would be $60, right? Because it would take two prospects to equal one client. So for every $60 spent, you would expect to make five grand. Hmm, not bad, but again, you may have better ways of generating leads, but that's, that's another option that they offer. We're going to keep going. And some of these will become probably more realistic for, for many of you. Now we have aged leads. So aged leads means they're, they're not hot off the press like these two boxes, but you see the word in front of it recent. So these are aged, which means they're not hot, 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 but they're not old. And here you spend $3 to get 100 leads. And so that's not bad. I mean, we would still anticipate closing over half of those. So it's pretty affordable. Let, let's see what they suggest that you get in that package. So you get 100 records of business owners who have inquired about business funding. You're going to get their time in business, their contact name, their company name, their phone number, their email, their monthly revenue, how much money they want, intended use of funds, time in business. That is a damn valuable set right there. And frankly, if you bought this list, you wouldn't need to talk to them. You could just turn around and go submit them in because you would have the data set that's needed. So this would be a good option for those of you that don't want to spend time on the phone with clients or prospects, I should say. So that, that is an option. So when we're talking about recently aged, these are between 10 to 30 days old. Now we can get even older and it gets cheaper, right? So these were $300 for 100 leads. Now we get 500 leads, five times, and it's even less cost. So the same concept, these are just older leads and you're getting essentially the same uh, data set. So not, not bad at all. I think this would probably be a good fit for a lot of folks. And if you need some working capital for buying leads, let us know. Okay, so let's move on then to the next. Here's a very interesting option that we've, and, and this is I think what Joseph typically uses during his slow times. It's getting a thousand leads for 150 bucks. Do the math on that. That is very affordable. 
And so this, you're, you're not getting emails, but you're getting mobile phones. And frankly, we see better deliverability. And I think Joseph would attest to this of getting this list and then texting them a link to either this page that Scott's created for you or to this page itself and driving them in here. So you're getting the leads list, you're texting them, driving them to either this landing page or your version of this and getting them submitted. So this is another good option if you don't want to talk to the prospect and, and very affordable, very affordable. So if nothing else, I would encourage you to consider uh, trying this if your lead count is not where it needs to be. Okay, now we're gonna flip the page and look at it from a different perspective. I know our business benefited from the PPP loans, and there's a lot of, of established businesses that received tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars of PP funding, patient, uh, the, the uh, Protection Act money, which was really a grant in most regards. Well, for most people, most businesses, those funds have come and gone and dried up, so they may be very well ready for more capital. And so for $450, a bigger price tag, you can get the entire database. Now the database is powerful because it tells you how much they receive, their company name, of course, address, the owner name, the approval date, which institution they work with, phone line of business. And so it also includes, if I recall, the, the direct, yeah, you can get the direct email address as well. So uh, that is powerful. So you're buying a whole uh, data set of businesses that were credible enough to get the PPP loans and uh, you could target them if you want. There's also a version of that for the, the first round of PPP down here, by the way. Okay, you can also get UCC data. UCC data would be a list of businesses that, that typically are a little bit more sophisticated that have had some sort of funding and there's a lien, which isn't negative, but there's a lien placed against their business. So these are a little more sophisticated uh, prospects probably. And so that would be another source of leads that you could try if you wanted. You can target specific industries. We won't spend time on that. You can get an email list of 10,000 contacts for $400. And those are not generic addresses. We can take a look at this. And again, you know, we're, we're not asking you to spend money to generate leads. We're just letting you know if you want to make money, money is made from conversions. And for conversions, you have to have leads. So if you're good, take Jeremy, for example. He's a pastor. He, he, he's generated thousands of leads. He doesn't need another lead. He just needs to close the leads he has. But not all of you are Jeremy's, right? Some of you don't have the leads. And if you don't have leads, you won't have conversions. If you don't have conversions, you're not going to make money. So uh, that's why we're going through this. And so here's uh, it's ten, the 10,000 scrubbed emails. They'll get you the emails within 24 hours. They've been real reliable on that. A low bounce rate, so that's fine. So there is another option. I think that's almost the opposite of what we looked at earlier. So here we're getting 10,000 emails. Up here, we're getting 1,000 business owner mobile line. If it were me, I would go with this over the emails because emails, you, you've just seen, right? Emails will go into spam and people don't trust emails, but texts are read much more often and more frequently. And you can just include a link to either your landing page or this one. And so I, I wouldn't advise buying big bulk amounts of email, but that's up to you. Two more to go. Well, really one more, because we talked about the PPP. This is from the first round of PPP funds. And this is the second, the Paycheck Protection Program. Okay, here's an interesting one. And so the low revenue business loan leads, so these are smaller businesses, often earlier stage, which is a really good prospect pool for the free four-week funding program. And so uh, with that, you can buy those. Now, these are, 
are what we'd call fresh leads. So they're charging more per because they're coming through hot, kind of similar to the first two that we, we talked about. So what's the point? Again, if your goal is to make more money, you need to have conversions. We would recommend, don't require, but we recommend leveraging the free four-week funding program to have a very high conversion rate. We're right about 70%. So seven out of 10 people that this has been pitched to are signing up. That's very, very good. So then we'll provide the mentoring. We'll take them through the four-week curriculum. And then you can then help them upgrade into the funding program. And then you're making five points, 5% 5 of their capital rates. With a $100,000 guarantee, that's $5,000 for you per client. Not bad. So the question is, where do you get the people to feed into this engine? And so if you already have it figured out like a number of you, great. Just keep doing what you're doing. But if, if, you're, if you're not on track, if you're not making at least 10,000 a month through this model, then we probably are not where we need to be in terms of leads. Because if you have the leads and you ha handle them properly, we'll get the conversions. And if you have the conversions, then you'll generate the, the income. So who has questions on lead tycoons? And again, not my company don't have any financial affiliation with them, but they're a good group. We've seen good success and they have a variety of different types of leads, which I think is helpful. Now, in the past, a number of you have used Real X traffic, which we can look at. And Real X traffic has generated good volume, but what's required for Real X traffic is you need a landing page to drive them to. And so some of you have a landing page, some of you don't whereby with some of the options we looked at on Lee Tycoons, you wouldn't need a landing page. For example, again, you could get these thousand leads with uh, mobile numbers, just do a text campaign. And you could text one by one, but there's like text magic and some other what we'll call text blasting software that you could just set it up, upload these, send it out. It'll just you know, take you a few minutes to set it up. You can even uh, hit them on, on a reoccurring basis and then and then uh, from there, drive them in to either this page or your own landing page. We also then talked about being able to just buy a list. And if you just bought a list, uh, where was the list we looked at? You could just buy a list and then just simply put them in yourself. That's 10,000. So if you bought 10,000 contacts for 400, I mean, we'll have to see what the conversion rate is. But I mean, if, if you didn't convert, at least 10% of them, I would be surprised. That's a thousand conversions. So let's do the math on that. If you had a thousand conversions, because remember, once you put them into our, I'll do the math in a second. Once you put them into the landing page, then we send them the grant application package. We copy you, of course, via Adobe, and then they're getting reminders daily. So uh, it's kind of a drip campaign in itself. But if you had a thousand conversions, and you made 5,000 a pop, I mean, that's, that's obviously $5 million, so that's a lot of money. Okay, so who has questions, comments, concerns on leads and the importance of leads to generate conversions and conversions to generate income? And or does anyone have questions on the free four-week funding program that we officially announced on Monday, April 11th, we talked about some marketing strategies on yesterday's training on the 12th, and today we're talking about lead sources that you may want to purchase. Who has questions, comments, concerns on any of this material? Any questions, comments? So you just type it into the question and answer there on Zoom. It's kind of like a chat box. So Bruce, Charles, Denise, Erica, Hannah, Jeanette, we've, we've got... 317 people on here. Anyone have any questions, comments, concerns? All right, Paul's asking about working capital. So sure, if, if you want some working capital to be able to you know, buy leads or set up your infrastructure, put yourself on a salary or whatever else you want to do, uh, you're obviously able to participate as well and get the working capital that, that you need. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Okay. 
Well, if anything comes up, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you back tomorrow morning, and we hope that you'll consider getting leads if you're not where you need to be for your income, because the formula is leads turn into conversions, conversions turn into income. If your income's not where it needs to be, we need to make sure we have an abundance of leads to get there. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you tomorrow.